right. then I would say quietly, like, hey, I've seen a therapist, and the person would be like, I'm seeing a therapist. Right. <laughs> and then I go, you forgot everybody's where, seen yeah, a therapist. Yeah, I forgot you were in New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cab driver is like, oh, is this your, is this your therapist? This is my therapist. You know, and you're like, oh, okay, all right. But um, the biggest thing that helped me, I think, was realizing that oh, I'm just, this is just something I have to manage. It's a chronic thing I have to manage. I, you know, think, I think I think accepting you know, it is really the first it, step. Yeah, because if you pretend it, yeah. it's not there, it's going to get. Pretend it's not there, or that it, you're going to make it go away, right. and you just go, "It's here. I have this. Let me just accept it and try to like move through it instead of obsessing over getting rid of it." Right. You know, and once you like relax, you know, you feel funky for a little bit, and then it kind of ebbs away. Uh, and I think it was the the freaking out and trying to push it out, push it away that was perpetuating it. And you get in this kind of cycle, you know? Um, and the other thing that's terrible, which is so hard to do when you have anxiety is, is, is I will not get on the internet anymore. I just, I just, I call a doctor. That was right. a big thing for me. Yeah.